Guys, I have a lot of interesting news for you. Apple will announce its ambitions in the field of artificial intelligence at the upcoming developer conference on June 10th. Interestingly, details have emerged about the potential increase in partnerships between Apple, Render Network, and their new ally Stability AI. So today we will learn as much as possible about Render Network's new partnerships and Apple's plans. And most importantly, you'll soon find out how it might affect the price of RNDR. So subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get started. As you have already noticed, today we are talking about RNDR. We have been following this project for a long time, especially focusing on its potential in the field of artificial intelligence for future market growth. Render has proven to be one of the leaders, and I personally believe in its future growth, and not only returning to its old all-time high performance, but also growing to new heights. I personally expect to see $15, $20 per token by the end of this spring. Many people are very concerned about the fact that RNDR has recently shown a slight decline in price. You have to understand that the market is very volatile right now, and there are many reasons for this. We can see BTC at 65k and 72k of dollars, and this is all happening in just one week. The Bitcoin ETF has a significant impact on the market which at the time of recording this video is 4.25% of the total Bitcoin supply in circulation. Against this backdrop, Bitcoin is reacting quite actively to the mood of ETF holders, and the situation is also influenced by the fact that the Bitcoin halving will happen very soon, which historically is followed by a decline and then very rapid growth. So, back to the question of RNDR and its price. Personally, I see no reason to worry because RNDR is a real leader in the AI space, with great partnerships and a lot more potential. So I see this drop as a normal correction and a zone to buy and implement a DCA strategy. It is important to clarify that you should only consider DCA if you have been buying coins above the current price levels. As I said before, I see scenarios for updating the old all-time highs in the next two months, so I consider the marks up to $10 as a buy box. And now I propose to move on to a more detailed analysis of the reasons why I think so. My viewers know for sure that Render Network has some of the strongest partnerships in the crypto space. I'll just quickly remind you of them so that you fully understand what we're talking about. This is the first time that a crypto project has partnered with a Web2 giant like Apple. The famous Apple Vision Pro glasses work with Render which means that the crypto project can process video data and render it very quickly. In addition, Render Network has a strategic partnership with NVIDIA, and the vice president of NVIDIA Omniverse has taken an advisory role in RNDR, which shows a high level of trust and understanding of the market. And these are just two major partnerships with the giants of the Web2 market, but there are also smaller partnerships, and the technology itself is being used almost constantly for rendering video, games, and almost any other digital content. But we already know all that, and today I want to talk about something more interesting, something that looks like more insider information that I want to share with you. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the most interesting things about certain assets. Back in mid-March, there was news that I personally and many other people missed, but it is extremely important. In general, this combination of efforts has a very deep meaning for each of the members of this partnership. Since mid-March, Stability AI Otoy, which is a kind of parent company for Render, as well as Endeavor, which owns the UFC and WWE, and the Render Network have joined forces to develop next-generation AI models, intellectual property systems, and open standards based on decentralized GPU computing. While I've been talking about the partnership, You've seen the results of all these companies working together. But before I get into the impact of this partnership on the industry and on Render Network, I'd like to emphasize what a monster the project is dealing with. One of the key members of this partnership is Stability AI. Most of you probably haven't even heard of them, but I can confidently say that they are one of the biggest players in the AI market in general. Their AI image creation product has taken over almost the entire market. Take a look at this infographic. What do you see here? Just amazing numbers when it comes to AI image generation. In total, 15 billion images were generated in one year, and 12 billion of them were generated by Stable Diffusion, Stability's AI. So I think everybody is realizing the real potential of this partnership. But there is something very interesting that this partnership can lead to. So I suggest we move on to that. Now that we have seen the partnership between Render Network and Stability AI, we can assume a very interesting scenario. 
Apple has been interested in Stability AI and its image-generating artificial intelligence since 2022. It should be understood that Apple is very much interested in adding AI to their products. In 2022, they added a product from Stability AI, and this year, they are working with Render Network to render video in new glasses. Given Stability AI's latest offering, Stable Diffusion will use RenderWorks decentralized GPU to create content. If Apple uses Stable Diffusion, which in turn uses Render Network, it means that the content generated by Apple's AI will go through Render Network and use the Render token. It turns out to be a pretty cool interaction where the three projects are constantly working together in one way or another. However, Render will obviously benefit the most as it will be used by everyone in this scheme. So, taking into account all these interesting indicators, I propose to move on to assessing the potential for price growth of this asset. But before I do, I want to make it clear that this video is not financial advice at all. My realistic prediction is $20-$25 per RNDR token. If we go back to partnerships and the importance of fast and cheap rendering, I see real growth potential. Still, the technology is really cool, and the narratives of the meta-universe and AI cannot be ignored. In a bull market, they will become even bigger, because an unrealistic number of new users will come in. However, I want to clarify that if we are talking about the short term, I definitely see the potential of $15 to $18 per one R&DR. This is my target for EZX. Right now, R&DR is trading at $10 to $9, which I think is a pretty good entry point or DCA marker if you bought the token at a higher price. Of course, it would be cooler to see it hit $8 and then rise to $10.15 and then $20.25 at the beginning of the altcoin season. This would be an ideal scenario where even I would buy R&DR, even though I had bought it much cheaper. But will the market work this way? To be honest, it is very difficult to give a clear answer because the market has gone crazy and is showing all-time highs even before the halving, which has never happened in the history of cryptocurrencies. Therefore, if we simply analyze the facts that can be seen on the charts and in the information space in general, I do not exclude the possibility of growth to $80,000. In this case, RNDR will go up, just like all other altcoins. So, if we are talking about my bullish prediction, I see much better price points. Again, if we take into account all the positive factors that can contribute to the price increase, I see no reason for only 2x. That is why I set goals for myself, under which Render Network will be able to grow to the zone of $100 per one RNDR. Because this coin is a utility of their product, which can be useful for absolutely everything. A good example is Apple and Stable Diffusion, which will now start using Render Network technology much more actively. In addition, we are waiting for a big Apple conference where the render team will most likely speak, and we know that such conferences are great for the price of a token. So I expect another significant price pump through partnerships and various events and implementations. And I want to remind you that this video is by no means financial advice. This is just my vision and thoughts on the market, so always do your own research before investing and invest wisely. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the growth of coins. Thanks for watching your coin post.